Hello everyone, by the way, this is Mark and welcome back again here on our YouTube channel, Happy TV. Um, this time guys, I just want to apologize for not uploading videos lately because from the previous days, there are a lot of things that happens and it's kind of frustrating and hopefully you understand guys. But anyways, this time, um, our topic for this time will be, uh, I'm going to show you how to breed goldfish and also how to identify goldfish male from female just like that and also I'm gonna show you some of my 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 friends goldfish collection because we're gonna use that for this video but before anything else guys if you're new here please consider subscribing to get updated whenever we have new uploads so I'm waiting for let's go so this time guys we'll be going to my friends area and show you some of his goldfish and of course other fish collections and guys also sometimes even experienced breeders can have trouble telling the gender differences between a male and female goldfish if the fish is not in breeding season and mature enough but if you know what to look for and you catch your fish at the right time it can be a good sign goldfish typically come into breeding season after a period of cold weather from other countries followed by warmer temperatures and more abundant food this happens very commonly in the pan environment or on their natural habitat So this is my friend's goldfish collection. They are all female in this chain. And now let's identify first the goldfish sexes before breeding them. So check for breeding stars on gills, body, and fins. One of the easiest ways to know if your fish is a male or a female is pretty straightforward. Just look on the fish gale plates for the presence of tiny white dots called breeding tubercles sometimes also known as breeding stars these little dots look like little grains of salt and a rough touch like sandpaper as what you can see right now breeding tubercles will also commonly show up on the front rays of the pectoral fins of the fish as well and even on the scales on their body and if you see this your fish of course is a male And another identification is you have to examine the vent shape of the goldfish. The vent is the part of the goldfish that releases their waste as well as eggs for female or melt for the male. It is located underneath the anal fins of the fish which are below the tail. Females have a round protruded vents as what you can see that can be best seen when you look at the fish from the side. It is a small whitish protrusions that shows up when the female is close to spawning season. And also males have an oblong vent that is usually longer than the females, as well as more indented. So another identification is you have to study the body conformation. There is another way to tell if your fish is a male or a female, and that is by the shape of their body. This is probably even trickier than the vent method because of everyone's different feeding habits. <laughs> Just like that. And also if the fish is a pearl scale or a ping pong kind of goldfish, it probably won't be easy to tell either. <laughs> you can only tell the pearl scale goldfish success by identifying the, the, the breeding tubercles and also by uh, seeing their vent. Just like that. And female goldfish usually look shorter and rounder in their abdomen area. As they come closer to breeding season, they can become very plump 
swelling with eggs like a dumpling. <laughs> their bodies are usually deeper as well as when viewed from the side. This is called their graven spot. Sometimes they may even look lopsided with one side of the body bulging out more than the other. And of course, this is just a notes because a really swollen belly on a goldfish can also be a sign of illness like a bacterial infection so if the fish looks very swollen and not just pleasantly plump make sure everything is okay the swollen female fish might also be an egg bound which happens when the fish produces a lot of eggs that continue to build up inside the abdomen and cause bulging and also males on the other hand will often look thinner and longer in the abdomen and some males may also have seam or ridge along the underside of their belly. Another identification is to watch the fish for signs of mating behavior. The most obvious way to tell a male from a female goldfish is to observe the spawning process in action. Males will be the chasers, following closely underneath the belly or behind the females, nudging them and sometimes pushing them into an object or plants in the tank or pond as what you can see right now females will be on the run and sometimes maybe get tired of having torn fins from the rigorous process but this is the only 100% reliable way of sexing your goldfish but your goldfish will have to be in the height of breeding season And also another identification, if goldfish is matured enough after the condition, the male releases a sperm or male, that's what you can see right now on his vent, and eggs for female, that's how you identify male from female. And now let's go to breeding goldfish and first we need to select the breeders goldfish will spawn as early as six months but the ideal age is between one to four years fish younger than this tend to throw small numbers of small eggs and small eggs produce small fry which is non desirable which is not desirable at all fish older than this may be spawn a large number of large eggs but the number of infertile eggs and deformed fry is high. Unless you are lucky enough to have purchased exceptional parents, you will have to make do with what you have. It will just take a little longer to produce the champion kind of fish. And also like breeding guppy fish, uh, when we are going to breed goldfish, we have to select also the best goldfish breeders or without fault in his body shape and fins to produce quality and beautiful goldfish. And after selecting breeders, you need to separate the male and female goldfish for conditioning to make the female produce more eggs and the male to produce more milk by feeding them live foods for about 3 to 4 weeks. After the conditioning, you may breed them by using chasing method. Just place the male and female together in a breeding basket at 4 in the afternoon for the male will chase the female starting dawn usually at 4 in the morning and the eggs will just drop at the bottom and you may use hand breeding method also by releasing the male milk and the female eggs at the same time and just do it gently. And please if you are a newbie or a beginner on this kind of method just do it with precaution or do it carefully not to destroy the fish bladder or the fish abdomen and after the breeding just use methylene blue just use just 
um, use a few drops to discourage the fungus bloom and after three to four days the so that's it hopefully guys you've learned something our video for today on how to breed your goldfish as well as identifying their gender and um, please guys if you like this video just give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to get updated for upcoming videos like this one and of course if you have any questions clarifications regarding to our video just send your message at the comment section below or follow us on our fb page at habitb.ph and i'll do my best to answer all of your questions there so thank you very much guys stay safe everyone to god be the glory bye bye